Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video today to show you how to put polos on your model horse. This is just like a safe way. Sorry if I'm talking kind of quieter. It's late at night and I don't really want like to wake my whole neighbor up or anything. So yeah, please excuse that. But this is like a personal, I find it more of a safer way than like some people do. Yeah, so yeah, it's a safer way. So, what you'll need is ribbon, tape, oh, tape, scissors, and of course, the um, gelding or mirror you want to do it on. So, yeah. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your model and be careful with them, especially like I'm doing it on a wood floor which they can get scratched easy so you could put a surface down but they're not he's not going to be here for very long this is Canada by the way so you're going to want to start by taking your leg the ribbon and wrapping or like tying the ribbon in a knot right about there where the polo would start typically he has like really long legs but yeah you want to do that not too tight or too loose this is just so you don't put tape directly on the your um their like body their paint because I'm not I think it could like pull the paint off so that's why I call it a safer way of doing it but yeah so I will do that really so I made my knot that's what it looks like it can like comfortably slide around but it's not like gonna fall off so you can cut the excess off I would recommend doing that cut that off really quick Find if like there's a little on like that, um, and then you're just gonna want to wrap it. So kind of like my voice; it sounds really quiet currently. Like I don't always like it, but so you kind of it's kind of hard to explain. Like holding it one-handed, basically you kind of just like wrap it around their foot. You kind of need two hands, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I found some new problems with it, but I think I found a solution. So you're going to want to take that and, um, oops. Okay, wrap it around his leg. And then you're going to want to, you know how, like, when you tie a knot, you tie it, and then you tie it again? Well, you're just going to want to tie it once. So, um, so that's, so that's what I mean. And then you're going to want to leave the excess. And it's really kind of complicated get it started well it's just kind of hard but um you basically want to like as you're tying it be pulling that at the same time so let me try and set a little tripod thing up to show you guys okay so this tripod's really bad but it kind of gives you an idea what i mean so start up here you're literally like pulling this this is the excess and then wrapping at the same time as pulling because it'll untie itself so just like that and I can't really it's hard to do it like with the tripod and stuff tripod but I'm gonna try oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get back so I wrapped it I still have the excess piece right there and I have that piece which is the end now you can tape this but don't tape it onto the horse's leg tape it onto the polo so tape it onto the ribbon so i'm gonna go do that real quick i know this isn't the best job but i was just doing this as an example so i would usually do this better <laughs> but yeah no all right so as i said before this obviously doesn't look like a legitimate polo like it doesn't wrap around there or anything but i was just doing it to show you guys i would actually do this better but then you can take that excess and you can just cut it off. Be really careful of your model. So I'm going to turn this off just so that I don't cut him or like scratch him or anything. And there it is. Obviously it's not wrapped like an actual polo. Like it, would, it doesn't go around or anything. But like I said, um, I like was just doing it for the video. So I would wrap it better if I was actually going to like make him a polo. <laughs> 
But, um, really quick, there's no promises that, um, leaving this on or just having it on at all won't create rubs on them or anything. I have not, like, had that happen to me, but there is no promises that it won't happen to you. And if you're not comfortable or, like, don't trust yourself with doing this method, then, like, you don't have to do it. This is just what I do. You could find your own way or do the tape thing. And again, I don't, like, know if the tape thing will actually, like, ruin your horse. Personally, it hasn't happened to me, but, like, yeah. I just feel like it would. But I usually don't leave these on for that long. I've left them on for video or just for fun. Stuff like that, but I haven't left them on, like, overnight. And you could leave it on overnight. I don't know if that would create rubs. Again, I don't know any of this. So... Yeah, that's just a disclaimer. But, um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and enjoyed the tutorial. And I'll really quick show you how to take it off. So basically, just kind of, you just kind of take it off. You can find the tape where it started and it'll just come off like it's wrapped around. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the next video and yeah. I actually, I actually really quick wanted to show you guys these polos that I did on Snowman. Now, I did use the tape method, the bad tape method, and I'm going to take them off right after this. But, um, yeah, that's what it'll look like, kind of, with you actually like, trying. <laughs> so, I don't want to, like, film the rest of my room or anything, but, yeah, they they kind of look like polos, like, the way they're wrapped. It's really hard to do that, but, um. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.